Asmin's POV. Matapos ko mag sa loob ng closet, lumabas ako na parang walang problema. I saw Hans already done beside his father. Kapwa sila tumayo na makita ako at walang ingin lumabas, kaya sumunod na rin ako. Yaya, let's go! Sabi ko kaya yan na nakasalubong siya sa hagdanan, kaya tumayo naman to bago sumunod sa amin. Trent is busy with his phone while we're heading towards his car. Pero kahit ganun, binuksan pa rin niya ang passenger seat para sa akin bago niya pinasok si Hans sa backseat. I sighed and silently hopped in. Dadaan muna ako sa office. He announced. Nanlaki ang mata ko doon. We will just commute then. Sabi ko pero wala ako nakuhang sagot. Mas lalo akong kinabahan na makita kong isang matayog na gusali. And when the car stopped on its basement parking, my heart beats widely. I'll just stay here. No one will eat you here. Kagad na po tulad siya sa akin bago tuloy yung lumabas. Wala na ako nagawa kundi lumabas at sumunod. Dalagad niyang binuhat si Hans. Halos yumuko ako ng todo nang pumasok kami sa loob. I could feel the stares of the employees around us. Mas nakakaba pa dahil bumabati sila sa kasama namin. Their murmurs were so loud. Halatang pinag-uusapan kami. Na makapasok kami sa elevator na walang tao, doon lang ako bahagyang napanatag. He pressed the up button so I slightly rested my back on the elevator wall. Nang mapatay na ako sa pinto, nakita ko tinitingnan niya ako doon. Our eyes locked and no one dared to avoid. Are you okay? He huskily said so I nodded without avoiding his eyes. Nang bumukas ang elevator, mas nalo akong kinabahan. A lot of cubicles welcomed us. Kagad bumaba si Hans at saka nagtatakbo. Good morning, engineer. Bati ng ilan pero ang mga mata nila ay napako sa akin at kay Hans. Napayo ko ako habang naglalakad kaya nabangga ako sa isang desk. I was about to fall but a huge arm held me. Fix your desk. Malamig na sabi ni Trent sa isang lalaki kaya nanlaki ang mga mata ko. His arm stayed on my waist until we reached his office. Napaawang ang mga labi ko na makita ang kabuoan ng office sa Trent's. Typical office for a billionaire. It is so huge. Parang kalahati lang ng office si daddy sa building namin. He also has a huge living room set and I love the glass wall. Kitang-kita ang building sa labas. I will just sign something, then we will go. He whispered so I got shocked. Bagya kasing dumidikit ang mga labi niya sa pisngi ko, kaya dali-dali ako lumayo. His brows furrowed before he went to his table to sign something. Mabilis ko namang nilibot ang tingin ko. This is so manly and beautiful. Lalaking lalaki at amoy na amoy ko si Trent's dito. Walang masyadong gamit kaya't mas nana naging malaki at malinis tingnan. I want an office as huge as this. Let's go! Natigil ako sa pagmamasid na makita na nandito na siya ulit sa tabi ko habang buhat si Hans. Yeah! Mahinang sabi ko at saka dahan-dahang sumakay sa kanila palabas. At kagaya kanina, mabilis tumapo sa amin ang mata ng lahat. Their curious eyes bothered me a lot. Para silang nakakita ng multo habang nakatingin sa akin kaya nakayuko ako habang naglalakad. Alam ko ang mga iniisip nila, I am not Wendy, just like in the orphanage. Nakahinga ko ng maluwag na makarating kami sa parking lot. Agad kong binuksan ang passenger seat nang hindi na siya hinihintay pa. I was about to enter when I heard a loud voice that made me frozen and nervous. Trends! Yasmin! You! My eyes widened when I saw Wendy fastly walking towards us. Nawala na sa isip ko ang pagpasok sa kotse dahil natuon na lang pansin ko sa galit na galit niyang mukha. Trent immediately gave hands to Yaya Fe before he shielded his body in front of me. Wendy, what are you doing? Pagalit na sabi ni Trent kay Wendy na nanlilisik ang mga mata. Trent, what's the meaning of this? After not contacting and seeing me for almost three weeks, I'll find you here with this girl? Kagad ako nanginig, saka ba? But I am not afraid. Kampanti ako sa ngayon, pero kabado lang. Trent held my wrist tightly and Wendy saw that. Hans is already crying nervously behind us. Wala ka talagang delikadesa, Yasmin. You are ruining my life. Malanti ka. Sumugod si Wendy sa akin, pero ang di ko inaasahan ay ang pagtulak sa kanya ng malakas ni Trent. Kaya siya bahagyang napaatras. Gulat na gulat din siya na parang di rin inaasahan na nangyari. Tears felt like rain from her eyes. Stop this, Wendy. Matigas, ngunit kontroladong sabi ni Trent. Tsaka mas talo kong tinago sa likuran niya. Halo-halo ang nararamdaman ko ngayon. I don't know what to do. Ano, Trent? Did she strip in front of you again? Nilandi ka ba niya kaya ka nagkakaganyan? Itatapon mo mga pinagsamahan natin para sa malanding niyan. How dare you? Wendy is ranging in anger while crying so loud. 
Wala kang ibang ginawa kundi sirain ako, Yasmin. One day matitikman mo rin ang karma. You can't be fully happy as long as I'm alive. My heart beats wildly when she cursed me. Mabilis akong umiling bago nagsalita. Wala akong ginagawa para agawin sa'yo si Trends. Mareeng sabi ko. Matapos kong malamang niloloko niya si Trends. Sabay lapit ng bahaga kay Wendy, pero agad niya akong tinula kaya't napaupo ako sa sementadong sahing. Wendy! Trends pushed her way from me when she was about to slap me hard. Trends, I am your fiancé. Wendy shouted. Trends laughed sarcastically before looking at Wendy using his angry eyes. Not when you've been cheating behind me for almost five years, he said. So Wendy and my eyes widened. He knew. He knew. Ma'am, si Hans po dumudugong ulo. Nadapa po. My eyes widened in fear as I looked at my son lying on the floor with his bleeding head. Hans! I immediately rushed towards Hans but Wendy suddenly gripped my wrist so hard and that made me stop. I furiously looked at her. Hindi pa tayo tapos. Parisado kong pinalibag ang kamay niyang nakahawak sa akin sa kagalit siyang pinukulang tingin. I don't have time for your bitter rant, Wendy. Open the car! Trent shouted so Yaya Fe shakingly opened the back seat. May mga guards at ilang taong nakapalibot kung nasan kami pero wala na akong pakialam. I am worrying about my unconscious son. Hindi ko mapapatawad ang sarili ko kapag may nangyaring masama sa kanya. Mabilis akong pumasok at ako ang nagabot kay Hans nang walang malay. Nanginig kong taring na nasugat niya sa gidin ng noo. I cried so hard when I felt that he is a little cold now. Go? Trance, go! Iyak na iyak na sigaw ko habang nakatingin sa anak na punong-puno ng dugo. I tried to stop myself from hugging my son. Humarurot ang kotse papunta sa malapit sa ospital. Trance drove furiously and fastly. Nalusutan niya mga kotseng nakaharang at laking pasasalamat ko dahil di kami na ifits traffic. When I saw that Hans' face turned pale, I cried so hard. Hurry up, please! Sigaw ko. I am full of blood now but I don't care. Ang lubos kong inaalala ngayon ay ang anak na hirap na hirap ng huminga. Please Lord, don't hurt my son. Ako na lang. Ako na lang parusahan mo. Hayaan mo na ang anak ko. Mommy? Hans murmured with his eyes closed. Baby, don't worry. You're gonna be fine. Manginig na sambit ko. When I stopped in the hospital, I inhaled so hard to control myself. Trent immediately opened the door and scooped Hans carefully from me. Emergency! He shouted, so the nurses ran towards us while bringing a stretcher. Please, please, do something! Do something for my son? Umiiyak na sabi ko habang tumatakbo kasabay na stretcher para mahawakan ang maliit na kamay ni Hans. Ma'am, dito na lang po kayo? Sabi ng nurse nang makarating kami sa emergency room. Please, save my son? Siya na lang ang meron ako. Please, save him. Hindi ko kaya. Hindi ko kaya? Stop. Stop crying. Said by the cracky voice behind me. Nang maramdaman ko ang mahinang pagkakawak ni Trent sa magkabilang bewang ko, umiiyak ko siyang tiningala. I saw his red eyes. May mga luha ring namumuo sa gilid ng mga mata niya habang nakatingin siya sa maliit na bintana ng emergency room. I sobbed hard and tried to get my phone. Kagad ako nag-dial kay Daddy. Para nang masagot itong tawag, kumagulhol lamang akong lalo. At hindi ko na kaya pang magsalita ng kahit na ano. Yasmin! Yasmin, what's happening? Muntik na ako mapaluhod sa sahig kung wala lang hawak si Trance. Sa bewang ko. In just a snap, he snatched my phone from my hand. He's the one who talked to my father while I'm watching the doctors and nurses mending my son inside the emergency room. Nanalamig at nanginig ako sa takot para sa anak ko. He is so young. Sobrang bata niya para maranasan to. I can't lose him. Ayoko. Hindi ko kaya. I will hate myself. I will loathe myself. Ayoko. Baby, please. For mommy. For mommy. Umiiyak na bulong ko habang nakatanaw sa walang maling na anak. He has oxygen in his mouth. At marami rin ang tubong nakakabit sa kanya. Marami ang taong nakapalibot na ginagawa ang lahat para lang gumaling siya. Hindi ko kayang tingnan siya sa sitwasyong iyon. But I have no choice but to pray and pray. I am begging the Lord to mend my son. Ilang sandali pa ay may dumating na maraming nurses. They were all running and my eyes went wide when they fastly entered the emergency room like there was something bad happening. My heart beats wildly out of nervousness and fear. 
Trends behind me cursed a lot of times. Patuloy na umaagos ang luha sa mga mata ko. And when I saw how they pumped my son's chest, I lost myself. Daddy! I shouted when I saw my dad running towards us. He immediately hugged me. Oh Lord! He pleadingly said while watching my son inside the emergency room. Trent punches the wall beside the door. Pero masyadong takot para sa kalayaan ng anak ko para pansinin pa niya. I sobbed real hard and suddenly, my vision became blurry. Please, ako na lang. I am willing to feel all the pain. Just save my son. Just save my angel. Save my son. Nagmaama kaawa ko, Panginoon ko. I am a sinner. But please don't let my son suffer. He is out of this. Please, I will enter. Trent shouted while trying to open the door. Kagad tong hinarap ni Daddy at kinausap kahit bahagya rin siyang kumalma. I sobbed hard before pushing myself into his chest. Kagad kong narinig ang mabilis na kabog ng puso niya. Save my son. Save my son. I murmured on his chest. And when I heard the long and loud sound, I shouted widely. Sinuntok ko ng malakas ang pinto habang umiiyak. I saw the flat line on the familiar machine. They are placing an iron-like machine onto my son's chest. Hans! 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 Baby, please! Hans! I shouted while watching my son fight for his life. Doc! 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 Takot at takot ako. The loud and long sound continued. Masakit sa tinga na sa mga movies ko lang napapanood. When someone is dying. Open this door! Hans! Hans! Tuluyan na ako nawala sa labas hanggang humahagulhol ng malakas. I saw how the nurses shook their head in chorus. Hans! Hans! When the door opened, I immediately ran towards my son. I hugged him so tight. Mas lalo pa ako ng hina ng maramdaman ang malamig niyang katawan. Hans, please wake up. Wake up! Baby, please! Iyak na iyak na sabi ko. His eyes were closed. He's not breathing. I shouted while hugging my son's body. This is just a dream. No! No! Hans! Ma'am, sir, we did everything, but his cold body surrendered. Hans, no! No, baby! Kissing! Kissing! Mommy will never leave. Wag mong iiwan si mommy, Hans. Hans! No! Baby, please! Please! Yasmin! Yasmin! My son! My son is still alive? I shake my son's body, hoping that he will open his eyes, but he did not. Nahangitim na ang mga labi niya at saksi ako sa kung parang nawala ng kulay ang buo niyang katawan. Suddenly, my whole world stopped while I was hugging my son's lifeless body. Hands, laughter, and shouts came inside my head. How his brows furrowed and how he kissed me. How he ran and how he jumped. How he cried and how he danced. I cried and cried until I felt a strong pain on my chest. Dahan-dahan kong tinignan ibang bahagi ng katawan ko in my abdomen. I shake in fear when I saw blood on my thighs. Yasmin! A strong arm enveloped me but my vision turned into black after that. Ang huli ko na lang narinig ay ang pagwawala at malakas sa sigaw ng mga boses na hindi ko matukoy. I lost my son and my baby. I lost my life and myself. I lost everything. I am now a blank space. The world was so cruel, so unfair. When I woke up, the first thing I saw, the white walls. Kagad tumulong masagana ng luha sa mata ko nang maalala kong nangyari. Dahan-dahan kong hinawakan ang chan ko. I sobbed harder and tried to sit properly. Pero kasabay ng pag-upo ko na maayos, bumukas ang pinto. Niluwanan si daddy na mumula ang mga mata. When he saw me crying, he immediately ran towards me to hug me so tight. Parang bata kong umiiyak sa balikat ng ama. I lost the baby, right? Humahagulhol na tanong ko. Dad stayed silent and in that case, I knew that I was right. Mas lalo kong umiyak at kumapit sa damit na suot ni daddy. I lost hands and I lost my second child. Ni hindi ko man lang alam na buntis pala ako. Ni hindi ko man lang naramdaman na may buhay na pala ulit sa loob. I lost them in just a snap. I lost my life. I lost my angel. You are strong. How can I be strong, Dad? How? Umiiyak na tanong ko kaya daan-daan kumala si Daddy sa pagkakayakap sa akin para tingnan akong maigis sa mga mata. My vision was blurry because of the tears but I could clearly see tears forming in his eyes. Yasmin. Dad sighed after saying that he had a lot of words to say to but he can't. 
Wala nang masasakit pa para sa isang ina nang mawala ng anak. Hans became my happy pill and rest. Siya nagbigay sa akin ng lakas at siya rin ang dahilan kung bakit patuloy ako lumalaban sa buhay. And now I learned that I was pregnant again, but I immediately lost the baby. I lost them both. Paano na ako ngayon? Hindi ko kaya. Hindi ko kaya. Nang bubukas ang pinto, kagad ako napatingin doon kahit umiiyak. Dad suddenly stepped away from me. Napatitig ako sa mukha ni Trent sa parang kagagaling lang sa iyak. He looks weak and pained. I will leave you two here, Dad said before he left the room. Kagad kong pinunasan ang mga luha ko at kasabay nito ang pag-iwas ko ng tingin sa lalaking unti-unting papalapit sa akin. Simply seeing him could make me feel the unbearable pain. His face, Hans' face, hindi ko pa rin matanggap, hindi hindi ko matatanggap. You need to eat, he slowly said so I looked at him. Bahagyang nalisik ang mata ko kahit na punong-punuto ng mga luha. Stop acting like everything's fine when it's not. Humagulhol na sabi ko kahit ba rin siyang pumikit at naparunok. Nang maimulat ni Trent sa mga mata niya, nakita ko ang mga luhang nagaambang tumulo. I'm also breaking because of what happened. Hans is gone now. Wala na. You don't need to keep on seeing me. I exclaimed and his jaw clenched. Listen. No. I keep on shouting while crying so hard. Biglang si Trent napasabunot sa buhok niya, kaya't napasuntok na malakas sa pader na nagbigay sa akin ng sakit, takot at kaba. His fist immediately got wounded because of that punch. Hans is my son and you were pregnant with my child too. I lost them both, I exclaimed. Biglang bumilis ang paghiya niya. I saw tears streaming down his face so I immediately avoided my gaze from him. He doesn't need to act like he care. Hans is gone. Wala na si Trent dapat pa nahabulin sa akin. Wala na siyang dapat balik-balikan sa akin. Wala na siyang karapatan sa akin. We lost it. At sobrang sakit isipin na hindi na ako buo sa ngayon. Durog na durog na ako. Durog na durog at parang gusto ko nilang tapusin tong buhay ko. I cannot face another day without my son. I can't face it. Hindi ko kaya. Yasmin. Nanginig ang buo kong katawan sa sigaw ni Trent. I looked straight in his eyes despite my broken feeling. Peace. Hans is gone. Wala na. Wala nang hahabulin pa sa akin. Every time we see each other, I've always thinking about my sins. Ang pagkakamali na alam pong dahilan para maranasan ko tong lahat. I am a sinner when I am with you. Please, just leave me. Wala na akong hinahawakan pang pamamayari mo. Please, do me a favor. Hayaan mo na ako. I am hurting. Please, maawa ka sa akin. Hagulhol na pagmamakaawa ko, kaya natigilan si Trent sa di nakapagsalita pa. I can't keep on seeing him. Hindi pwede. Dahil kapag paulit-ulit ko siyang makikita, siguradong mumultahin ako ng isip ko. Maybe when he is right, karma ko na tong mga to dahil sa dami ng kasalanan ko. Sa dami ng kasalanan na ginawa ko, hindi ko deserve na maging masaya. Please, let me be in peace. I lost my son. I don't want to lose my sanity. Umiiyak na sabi ko at ilang sandali lang, dali-dali siyang tumalikod at saka tuloy-tuloy na lumabas ng kwarto. I cried even more after that. I love him, but I can't let him be with me. Hindi pwede. Ito na ang pagkakataon para itamang lahat ng mga nagawa ko. God is giving me lessons for me to learn. Binabawi ng lahat na meron ako. Tinamaan na ako ng karma. I lost my son and my second child. Lahat yon gawa sa mali. Passion and heat, but they were my angels. I am the sinner here. Sa gitna ng pag-iya ko, pumasok si Daddy tahimik lang. He did not ask anything. Dinalohan niya lang ako at saka niyakap na mahigpit. I cried in my dad's chest until I fell asleep. I did not sin to you again after that. That was my downfall. Hindi ko alam kung paano ko na kayang gumising na wala ng anak ko. I cannot hear his giggles and laughter anymore. I cannot kiss and hug him. Hindi ko na siya mapapanood pa na maglaro. Wala na akong bubuhatin at lalambingin sa tuwing napapagod ako. Wala na akong kukunan na lakas sa araw-araw. I lost him. I lost them. I am so broken but I still managed to go through. Pero hindi na kagaya ng dati. Now I am a living dead. I died with my children. I died with them. Dinala ko ang labinihan sa Iloilo. Trent did not show his face up again. But maybe dad and him still has a connection but I don't care. Tapos na ako sa lahat ng yon. Tapos na ako sa pagmamahal na hindi ko naman dapat naramdaman para sa kanya. I face my days like a normal woman. 
But deep inside, I was dying. I was slowly losing myself. I am close to giving up. One month after tragedy, I've read something. Hindi ko alam ang mararamdaman ko, but I don't need to feel anything for it. I need to be contented. Kailangan kong lumayo sa mga taong naging dahilan ng lahat ng nangyari sa akin. I need to run away. I need to run away. Trent's and Wendy engagement was cut off. I don't care. Kahit sa loob-loob kong naramdaman ng kung ano ang dapat, ko rin yung iwasan. Wala na akong dapat pang pakialam sa kanila. Tapos na ang ugnayan namin. I am in love with him and I will surely move on.